All right, guys, sorry if I sound crappy, but I'm sick and uh, I'm out here fishing. There's no time to rest during the Big Bass Quest because we're trying to get this over with, trying to hurry up and catch one so we can measure them and weigh them and put them up on the wall. I'm not gonna do a skin mount, I'm gonna do a replica mount whenever I catch one. Let's give it a shot. Maybe it's time today. Let's see, let's get it today, please. There we go. Kept seeing fish just bouncing around over here. I had a good one at first, but he came off and I didn't have a hammer on, so. Little, small little bass. Rattle trap, short true shad, just pumping it. There we go. Well, I think I know what I just missed. There we go. Yep. Mr. Garfield. Hold you a little bit. There we go. That's fine. That's fine, dude. I didn't want to touch you anyway, because that was probably gonna happen and you were gonna take my stuff. All right. So I'm gonna give y'all a visual representation of what I'm doing. Cast out my rattle trap, then I pick it up, I reel down the slack. I pick it up, I pop it up and let it reel down the slack. Pop it up. Let it reel down the slide. They got all kind of little minnows around here. And uh, I seen some of the stomach contents of the bass. Oh, oh, I just had a bite. Yep, on that fall is usually when you get your bites. But this is the first spot I've been to already. And that was it. And I just, I've just been getting bites pretty much almost every other cast or so. That is structure. But usually on the fall is when you get your bites. I just pump it up let it go down pump it up like a shad that's dying and not too long ago i was out here in another place also i was looking around and uh, i kept seeing shad just flicking in the water and they were just doing the same thing what i'm doing right here they were dying and then bass were keying on on them shad dying that's what they were doing was they were eating them i'm in my first spot i really just began i don't know if y'all seen that but there was another fish just busted something over there Oh, that was a definitely a bite. Let's crank this drag up just a tad. That was a definitely a bite. They're slapping at it, not eating it. Or oh, I'm just not getting the hook in them. So I think these fish are just <clears throat> want something that's going to be able to go a little bit slower in this Colorado chartreuse booyah spinnerbait. I did a little bit of damage the other day with it. I caught three and missed about six because I didn't have my trailer hook. So guess what I got today? My trailer hooks. I will never not go without my trailer hooks because I, I had a lot of bites that day, but I just, they were swiping at the end of it. So now we got a stinger hook for them. Let's get it. All right. There we go. Got a good one. I'm trying to bring me all into the grass. I don't know how big it is. Oh, not the size that I want, but a good fish nonetheless. Come on, let me get some of that funk out your face. Ooh, look at that. Hit it on the outside. Didn't even get the trailer hook. Nice little bass. Slow rolling it, letting it fall, jerking it, make, making it look erratic. Ooh, All right, well, I got a little bit of a pattern. I caught a couple bass and a gar, and I had a bunch of other hits, but that was more in the front in like a pocket. Now I'm on this backside of this canal. They got wood and rock along the bank. Gonna throw a crankbait, and I got a red bug creature bait that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna try to figure out if they're on the bottom. Seems like everything they want is slow. They don't want nothing burned. So I got that crankbait to try to entice a reaction bite, and uh, just gonna walk until I get tired of walking. <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna walk down to the second pair of rocks and. Uh, See if they got some down there. Just work my way down, work my way back. So they don't want to touch the plastics at all. So I'm switching back to the spinnerbait as I walk down. And uh, just going to see what happens. I'm, I'm going off the only clue I really had is that they want to chase something. And they want something flashy with some vibration because both of the baits that I caught them on had vibration. A spinnerbait like this and a rattle trap. So those are the only things I caught. So maybe they want that vibration. 
And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk down and throw it out. After a very, very long walk, we are finally here. And let's break out the KVD, see if we can get anything. Throw the spinner bait for a second. About to stump, see what happens. And pump them up. Last cast. I hope y'all liked the video. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, drop a like. And today was all about a rattle trap. I was pumping the rattle trap, and that was my technique for the day. That I was also pumping the spinner bait. Every fish I caught was on a pump and retrieve, and uh, that seems like what they wanted. I seen a few fish fl flicking out in the middle, and uh, I can actually hear them right now. And I think if I'd have threw a rattle trap and been pumping it along, I think I might have caught a few more fish today. But it's not about catching little fish for me right now. It's all about catching that six. That's what I want to do. If y'all got any tips for me or any places I could go to possibly go do this, next video is probably going to be in City Park. I'm going to stalk them in City Park because I know they got giants there because they're Florida strain mixed with Louisiana bass. They have giants in there. If you've ever fished City Park and you've seen them in the spawn, there's a bunch of them and they're big. So... We'll see if we can get one, fool one, and the biting it. I got a special bait, and I'll show y'all. My buddy George knows what I'm talking about. He seen it last year. He caught it. He caught one, and then he missed the big one because I didn't have any more. But we're going to try to get it done. So I'm going to check y'all on the next one. Later.